Motorists wait in line for hours at this gas station in Sumatra. Some are willing to endure a long wait for cheap fuel, biodiesel, almost a third of which is palm oil. I have to be cost conscious in my job. I need to find the best price. Biodiesel is three times cheaper than regular fuel. The Indonesian government aims to complete its energy transition through biodiesel produced using these dates, the fruit of the date palm. After being processed and refined, palm oil is blended with traditional diesel. By 2030, this next generation fuel should account for 30% of the country's energy use. But to meet the demand, more palm trees are needed, and that means clearing the country's primary forests. Despite the government's promise to produce greener fuel, the European Union is concerned the plan could cause an environmental disaster. Is there help already coming from the government? No, just us. So this is down to people's efforts? Yes. Rashid is an environmental activist investigating the fires ravaging South Sumatra. Many of the fires are thought to have been started deliberately to allow oil palm planters to quickly make space in the forest. For the past three days, this peatland has been engulfed in flames. This empty land is supposed to be a new designated area for the palm oil industry. You can see at the back there is a palm plantation already. Rashid concludes that this fire probably started accidentally. The damage caused by palm oil deforestation is made worse by other factors. The archipelago suffered a particularly severe drought in 2023 that caused numerous wildfires that destroyed more than 200,000 hectares of land. These fires are everyone's problem, but it's left to the villagers to deal with them without any help from the government. They have no choice but to fight the flames, and the smoke is causing terrible respiratory illnesses. On this day in South Sumatra, the fine particle pollution index is six times higher than the level considered safe by the World Health Organization. Daya and her daughter Ida live near the plantations. My eyes are burning all day long. I'm suffocating. We live in a constant smog. More than 20 million of 100,000 million hectares of forest have disappeared over the past two decades. Nearly 25% of this deforestation is to facilitate palm oil production and that's causing serious damage to Sumatra's fragile ecosystem. At the Hutan Kita Institute, scientists analyze forest fires using satellite images. They say the agricultural methods used by the palm oil industry are making droughts even worse. We can see a connection between forest fires, hot spots, and palm oil plantations. A correlation between that and the lack of compliance in land management. There are date palms as far as the eye can see. This is Sumatra's new landscape. For years, Pak Sarajan and his family grew rice. But ten years ago, he switched to palm oil cultivation, which is more profitable. There's no forest here anymore. Everything has turned into plantations. In 2022, Indonesia exported nearly 31 million tonnes of palm oil. That's a huge figure, but still lower than in previous years. Images of deforestation have prompted Western governments to reduce their imports of this cheap oil. But the Indonesian government continues to encourage farmers to grow the lucrative trees. Palm oil automatically gives us a better income. When we plant rice, there's no guarantee that we'll make a profit. Switching to palm oil has given us a better life financially. In an attempt to improve the image of the palm oil industry, the Indonesian government is tightening regulations. Illegal plantations will soon face fines and have to cease production. According to the government, 200,000 hectares of land will be returned to the forest in the coming years. But Pak Sarajan isn't worried. His plantation is just four hectares too small for the authorities to bother checking.
kan banyak hewan buas termasuk. We're happy now that there's no more wildlife bothering us. Back then, we were angry because many wild animals, like boar, destroyed our plants. Sumatra's wildlife has become one of the many victims of palm oil plantations. More destruction is inevitable, as Indonesia needs to clear more than 6 million additional hectares of forest to meet its energy transition goals. The industry is here to stay. It generates income equivalent to 4.5% of Indonesia's GDP and, thanks to demand for biodiesel, will just keep growing.